Hey guys, so I'm going to show you today how I remove these flyaways that you often get. And I'm going to show you two ways how I do it. One way might be better than the other, but it all kind of depends on the photo you're working with. But I'll show you the two ways. So, first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate my background layer. And the first way is using this the healing brush tool so I'll, I'll zoom in and basically what you're doing with the healing brush tool is you're just selecting an area of the image and it's usually going to be your, your background and you're going to hit alt select just like a random area and you're just going to drag along each hair like that and it's just kind of gonna sample the whole area and just fill it in and this method it, it works pretty well but um, I'll show you one reason why sometimes it's not the best so you try to get in real close here you're gonna see right here it's kind of it's blending both the skin and the background so let's see if I can find another spot where alright so for like this area this is going to be really tough to work with so if I hit alt select an area and I just come in here so see you can see the problem we have right here so this is all you know, this, this is not going to work so I'm going to show you guys a better method to this. Okay, so I have my two layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to add a filter to this. So I'm going to go up to filter, I'm going to add noise, and then dust and scratches. So I want my th threshold at zero, and then my radius. Let's see what I can do is I can I'm gonna zoom in here to get a better better view. Okay, so my radius I wanna bring my radius until these hairs start disappearing and let me zoom out a little bit here. So I want it to be for every single hair. I just want to, you know, kind of go around, and make sure every hair, you know, is, is taken out. So this looks about good. Maybe I'll just go just slightly more. Twenty-five. Okay. And I'll hit OK. Okay, so you're going to get something that looks like this, and don't worry, this is not going to be the final image. We're going to fix this up. Um, but I'm going to select this layer. I'm going to add a layer mask. And I'm just going to fill this entire mask in with black. So I'm just going to hit Control i and it's just going to fill it in. So it's just going to be kind of, it's just going to disappear for now. Okay, so I have my image with my layer mask and now what I'm going to do is just going to go to my white brush so my brush tool uh, zoom in make sure I'm on white and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over this And if you mess up, you just, you know, go back to your, your black brush and you just paint over. And you go back to your white and you can continue. And 
All right, so if we, we're zoomed in right now, and you can kind of see the two different layers. You have your original background here, and then where we're painting over is the, um, the layer we applied that filter to. And you're going to notice it's a lot smoother than the actual background. And I'll show you how to, you know, kind of mitigate that effect at the end. Um, basically, we're just going to apply like a grain to it and it's just kind of, you know, bring it back to the normal background. It looks pretty good right now. Um, so the only thing I need to do right now is add some noise to the, um, the background copy. So I'm going to go up to um, filter, uh, noise, add noise, and let's see. And you'll see if I go pretty far. That's that's what we're, we're filling in. We just want very, just very slight. So I'm just going to go like 0.5. Okay. So if I zoom out, and you can't even, can't even notice it. So hopefully this helped you guys. That's you know a pretty easy method to use. Um, a lot of times I'll use just use the, the spot healing brush if I have you know like one or two strands to do. If I have a lot like you know this image had, you know it's the second method I showed you is gonna work a lot easier.